this lesson, we are going to be creating a Google Apps script that's going to connect to the sheet and get the data from the sheet and populate, calculating the hours, dividing it by eight, and that's going to round approximately how many days each one of those sets of hours are for each one of these people under the name, looking at how we can separate out the headings and then using some array methods in order to slice back and return back the results and then for each looping through each one of the items within the new array so that we can output and create the calculations within the spreadsheet. That's all coming up in this lesson. You're going to need a spreadsheet for this example and we're going to read some data that's within the spreadsheet. So we've got some data here sitting within sheet 3 within a spreadsheet and when selecting the content from the spreadsheet we're going to need the spreadsheet ID in order to select it with our standalone app script. So go ahead and copy the ID, and the ID is going to be the value how you can identify your spreadsheet using Google Apps Script. And then within the Google Apps Script, go ahead and set up the ID as a variable. I'm going to set it up as a global variable, and you can also keep it within the function depending on how you want to use. So what we want to do is we want to get the data from the function from the sheet. And we'll just call it uh, sheet data two. And what this is going to do is going to return back the data from the sheet. So the first thing that we want to do is select the spreadsheet. And because we're not using a bound script, if we're using a bound script, we could select whatever the active sheet is. And in this case, we want to actually select the sheet using its ID. So we're using the spreadsheet app. And then we open by ID. And this is where we can use the ID of the spreadsheet in order to access it. And then outputting it into the log just to make sure that we do have the sheet object and it's ready to go and run the function. And there we've got the spreadsheet. So we actually want to select a particular sheet. So we chain together another method. And the other method is going to be that uh, we're going to be getting the sheet by name. And the sheet by name is going to be whatever the spreadsheet name is. And you can give it a more meaningful name. So I'll just call it data. So that way we can identify it as data. And if you do change the name, then you do have to remember to change the name within your statement. And then once again, we're going to log out the sheet. And we'll sit, make sure that we do have the sheet itself. So there we've got the sheet, not just the spreadsheet. We do have the sheet. So we're ready to get the values from the sheet. And in order to get all of the values from the sheets, so if we want to get the entire range of data, we can select the sheet object and then do the get data range. And that will select all of the active range. And then once we have the range, we can then select the values from that range. And this is going to return it back within an array format. So output the data in an array format within the log. So there's the data from the spreadsheet. So now we can use that data. So this is just an irregular array that we have. And if we had numbers, is we have a third column here, we'll call it days. So what we want to do is we want to work out the number of days that these hours come to. And in a typical workday, we have about eight hours. So let's make that calculation. We're going to populate the days column with the new data. So next, let's select the headings and get the headings only. So the headings are going to be contained within the first row of data that we have. So that's going to be within the data zero is going to be where we've got the headings. And this as well is going to be an array of the heading data. So if you want to just get the first row, and typically when we do have spreadsheets, the first row is going to contain the headings. And that's just going to return back the first row of data. And then if we want to get like the results, then we can select using the data. And let's use the JavaScript slice. And so this will slice out the first row of data out and only return back the part where we do have data. So this is the data that we want to make use of. So now what we can do with the data that we have is we can loop through the data using for each. And then this is going to be the row value that we have. 
and we'll also track the index as we're iterating through. So that will return back the index value and that will help us set the range if we want to write some values into it where we want to calculate out the average. So let's log out within the log and we want to get the value of row and the second item within the row which essentially is going to be the second column of data. So there we've got the values for the second column. And then even if we had another set of values here, as we add them, we're going to dynamically pick up the new set of values and turn it into a number. So the result of that as a number, so that we can parse integer to make sure that we do return it back as a numeric value. So there's our all of our numbers there. And let's uh, do a math and then we can divide it by 8 or whatever number that we want to calculate the hours into the days. So that gives us the approximate days that these hours would fit into. And let's uh, create another variable. And this is going to be returning back the number of days that we just saw. So what we want to do is we want to take the sheet and get the range. And the range that we're looking at is going to be index plus 1. And writing into the third column. And then we can set a value. We can do it all within one statement if we don't want to or we don't have to set the range. And then we can add the Dave's values into it. So that will calculate out the days values. And I do need to account for that this is actually going to be index plus 2. So let's uh, save that and we're going to run it again. And we can get rid of that first one and go back to days. So that way we can populate the content, keep the headers in place. So clearing out that content. And then depending on if those values change, our results will change as well. And you can do whatever calculation that you need for the column. And you can also have multiple columns as well and add in as many columns as needed.